afternoon YouTube, it's Dwayne again and today's vlog is a day in the life. Uh, I'm going to attempt to do a day in the life vlog. Today I am in my mate's shop. As I mentioned before, I always come down here in the morning help out the boys to set up the screens and like do little bits and bobs. And it is the hottest day of the year, 13 years living in this island. I have never experienced it. Yesterday was horrible, today is horrible. It's so, so hot. And the air con in the shop is phenomenal. So I thought I'd start the vlog here. As you can see, it's a clothing store. However, you can buy all your club tickets in the shop. So if you're ever thinking of buying tickets in San Antonio especially, pop into 06 West in San Antonio's West End. See the boys. I'm usually here in the mornings as well. And you can buy all your club tickets and it's really safe. Um, the boys always give you the best advice as well. So if you're unsure what to do, pop in and see them. And So this is probably going to be a longer vlog. I know a lot of people ask for longer vlogs. Um, it's a long day. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. We were thinking of going to uh, El Row. We've got some friends over. I haven't seen them. They're staying at the new Tana Hotel. So maybe I'll be able to show you that. I'm not too sure. But I'm choking for an ice cream because it's so, so hot. Oops. I'm not even exaggerating, 13 years, never experienced anything like it. I'm walking in the actual shade, constantly just walking in the shade, avoiding any sort of sunshine. How's everybody been doing? Like I said, I haven't been doing the videos as consistently as basically because of the heat. Um, I do want to get around the towns and do the beaches, but look at that, it's already melting. So we'll keep going anyway and see what's going on in San Antonio firstly, then we'll probably head to Ushuaia and Aero and get some food somewhere along the way. So stay tuned. San Antonio, I think, and then we're gonna make our way to Ushuaia for Aero. I'm here at the old Tanit Hotel. Absolutely amazing inside. Um, my friends are staying here, so I've just popped down to see them. They've been here for 10 days and I haven't seen them, so I felt a little bit guilty. So I thought, let's all go to Ushuaia, have a little bit of a laugh get some food and enjoy the day. Uh, I would have shown you a hotel, but I did contact the hotel to do an actual video and they haven't got back to me. So I didn't really want to go around with the camera because obviously it's a bit of a high end five star hotel nowadays. And uh, frankly, they didn't reply to me. So I ain't doing anything if they don't get back to me. So if anybody from the TRS is watching this hotel, I want to do a, hotel, a video in your hotel. I'm um, not quite sure where we're going to go for food. As you see, Aku here as well. Another five star hotel. Um, it's kind of what the island's becoming. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, feels a bit weird, feels a bit different. But we're going to go and have some food and then we'll go to El Roan. I'm going to make this like a big long one. So I hope you enjoy it. with a seagull on his head. I repeat, there is a guy with a seagull on his head. So we just had a quick bite to eat at Golden Buddha. You ready? Are you ready to dance? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely on a scale not. of a uh, one to ten, it's about eleven in heat at the moment. It's too warm. You ready? So if you are watching this video and wondering why we're going back to the hotel, there's an absolute massive taxi crisis, cannot get left anywhere. We've been phoning every taxi company. Um, it's impossible. So we're gonna have to walk all the way back to the hotel in this blistering heat to order a taxi. Obviously it's a five-star hotel, therefore taxis will probably come quite quickly food in Golden Buddha was done the job, very salty the burger, yeah was it? I'm, not, I'm very honest in my videos, um, not, it was very good service to be fair for the first time um, but uh, no the, the, the burger was a little bit too salty for my liking but I ate it anyway and we're ready to go to uh, Ushuaia
Nope. He's not gonna drink it. Right, you get guys? Yes. Oh my god, it's so cold this. Oh, oh, nice. oh, nice. oh, nice. oh nice. Hello. I'm Rolston. Legend, thank you. Oh, that is warm. Just from the aircon into El Road, Ushuaia. Remember at the start of the video I said it was really hot? It's very hot, the confetti was sticking to my head, landing in my drink. But what a what a party, what a place. There we have it, that was Ushuaia for El Row. Absolutely outstanding. So we're gonna make our way a little bit early because as I said in the vlog, at the start of the vlog, the taxis are insane. So can imagine how many thousand people's just about to leave Ushuaia. And obviously the queues will be getting going for Fisher today because he's playing a high. So the best thing to do is, for me is to leave as quickly as possible get in a taxi queue which is massive may I add and then hope that for the best me back in San Antonio um, I was seeing the taxi rank and play at Mbasa was busy but it actually only took about five minutes to get through and um, not too sure what I'm gonna do now maybe go and see the boys in the store it is only 12 o'clock and if you have been watching the vlog you'll have seen my friends wanted to go to amnesia I'm quite sensible I don't want to be going out and partying that's a little bit of a misconception with me as well a lot of people think that I'm always out clubbing but in fact I'm actually making videos so let's see where the day brings us that was a day in my life didn't go to plan I wanted to do a lot more but things happen I'm here back where it all started at 06 West so for those that don't know a lot of people always ask me how did you become living in Ibiza I came here when I was uh, 18 years old on holiday I was actually 17 I think I turned 18 the day I arrived um, I didn't want to go to Ibiza all my friends wanted to come here uh, they booked the holiday and I was like not for me one of my friends crashed his car, couldn't afford to go on holiday and pay for his car. So I decided I'll go in his place, paid for it. Came here, had the time of my life, ended up meeting one Welsh guy um, in, a, in a bar and we kept in touch. And then we said, we'll do the season together. Came out, done the season. Usual, just standing, trying to talk to people on the street, selling tickets. Then gradually I was like, doing okay I was like oh, I set up some social channels they become super big and the rest is history now I'm doing YouTube now you're all watching so if you are in Ibiza and you have enjoyed that vlog do pop in the 06 West it's here it's in San Antonio's famous West End it's early in the morning so it's obviously quiet and the guy over there is really talking loud 
please. Sorry, he's on his phone, but he's talking really loud. And he... <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I'm going to be back with uh, a lot more content. As I said, I did go to a wedding. I was invited to a wedding, which I'll cut to that now. Um, beautiful couple, they watched the videos. They said, will you come to a wedding? So I went and bought possibly the worst shirt I could find. I went to a wedding. Uh, it was an Irish wedding, so everyone's dressed up to the max in white. Uh, it was awkward, but we had such a laugh and that couple are coming back to Ibiza now and they've invited me out for a few drinks. So I also was on a boat party and um, we've been to Ants. We've done content in Playa de Mbasa. Um, yeah, there's loads coming up. It's just hard to keep on top of everything. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all soon. And to anyone that has popped by the shop the last week, since last week's vlog, I mentioned the shop that you didn't meet me. I said I'm, I'm here in the mornings. I helped the boys out putting up the screens here which is for advertising and that's basically all I do so if you catch me I'm probably here from about half 10 to half 11 12 and then I'm off to do my videos so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching again I appreciate all the love all the support and everyone to stop for a picture or whatever it's been really greatly appreciated